And now, two geniuses playing chess. Beginning the game with an offensive move, queen's pawn to d4 suggests an aggressive rhythm to which my opponent will react defensively. Should he move to centralize early game, I will use anti-positional tactics to throw his opening variation into chaos, thus gaining the upper hand. Of course, then he'll move to throw me, ascending his back ranks forward in an effort to disorient my infant gain centralization strategy. In which case he counters with his knight to f3. Sham sacrificed my bishop to b5 while my flanks round out the board in a stealth attack. Leaving my rook's pawn stationary for two turns would then leave me vulnerable to en passant. Diversionary tactics is pending and Alain Passant then watches sorry fortress crumble beneath his own pathetic foundation. This mofo tries an impassant on me, I swear to Kesa, I'll straight up cut him. He will then castle, but my knight is near. Check aversion. Thank you, Rook. King takes knight. He was a breastfed as a child and the absence of a father figure leads me to believe that his queen will be most valuable asset. Destroy the queen, destroy the player. Pawn makes way to h8. Pawn ascends to queen. Second queen obtained. Check. Dissipate and sidestep vertical threats. Bishop to d6. Queen takes bishop. Check. King takes queen. I can spare a queen. I have two. First queen to b6. Check. King to e7. Rook to a7. Check. King to f8. Queen to b8. Check. Mate. That was two geniuses playing chess.